For many years, Toyota has been researching engines that run on hydrogen. The company believes that hydrogen is the clean and sustainable transportation of the future and that driving with a hydrogen engine can be enjoyable even with zero CO2 emissions thanks to its sounds and sensations. In this pursuit, Toyota has now reached a very high level. The company recently unveiled a concept car that may soon be ready for production, as well as a new hydrogen-powered engine. According to Toyota, this engine can reduce the cost and complexity of fuel cell systems while still delivering excellent performance and responsiveness. Some worry that the Japanese automaker's aggressive use of A2 may push EVs out of style. In its multifaceted approach to carbon neutrality, Toyota is developing a new branch with the hydrogen combustion engine. Even though the car maker started reducing the number of fossil fuel-powered cars it produced when it introduced the Prius in 1997, it hasn't fully shifted its portfolio to electric vehicles. Furthermore, the BSV forks, the company's first fully battery electric vehicle EO, only sold a few hundred units October 2022, and the company has no plans to increase manufacturing of that car until 2025. The majority of people in the auto industry are largely silent, said Akio Toyota, president of Toyota. The silent majority is debating if having EVs as the only available alternative is indeed acceptable. However, they can't speak out since they believe it to be the trend. We shouldn't restrict ourselves to a single choice since the correct response is still up for debate. According to JD Power, battery electric cars have surpassed A2 cars in sales by a significant margin. Yet, their share of the new car market remains relatively modest. A hydrogen-fueled highest vehicle prototype was unveiled by Toyota Australia. This van will be part of a customer pilot program that kicks off later this month. In addition, Toyota representatives said that the technology is being considered for larger cars, such as the Land Cruiser, with the possibility of hybrid assistance being added in the future. Toyota began working on combustion engines that run on hydrogen in 2017. The Grey Corolla and Gore Yaris prototypes will be on sale in 2021. The initiative has now been extended to include more powerful trains and larger cars. For the first prototypes, the Hyas was selected over the Land Cruiser because of its advantageous packaging, which minimizes the impact of the conversion on cargo and interior space. The LCV's restricted range requirements, it is often used for brief back-to-base commercial operations, were another factor. The prototype is powered by a tuned version of the 3.5-liter turbojevrocharged Vorschag DN6, which is also available in certain countries as the Lexus LX and the Land Cruiser Series 300. The new direct injection technology allowed the mill to run on compressed hydrogen gas instead of gasoline. Following the modification, the engine generates 354NM, 2561 LBF to 21 OD and all cork and of torque teat 14633, which are sent to the rear axle via a 10-speed automatic transmission. With those figures, it is far less potent than the 409 horsepower 5KWHA. 4515 PS and 600 NM4043 LBFT of two torque produced by its Perfor Kurabrit. The new fuel produces ultra low psi CO2 emissions by cleaning the engine, even if it results in a significant loss of power and torque. Nevertheless, the hydrogen fueled combustion engine releases trace levels of nitrogen oxides, in contrast to Feyeves like the Toyota Marai, which only emit water from their tailpipes. Toyota claims that selective catalytic reduction technology has decreased those to comply with Euro 6 emission rules. Three hydrogen tanks, like those used in the second generation Toyota Mirai of Sevi, are utilized to store compressed hydrogen gas. There is enough gasoline in the 141 LA 37.2 gallons total capacity to go 200 kma 124 miles between refueling stops. Although this may seem little for a commercial vehicle, Toyota is already improving combustion, storing hydrogen more efficiently and may be using hybrid technology to increase range. An all-hydrogen land cruiser is now under development. The head of Toyota's hydrogen initiatives Mitsumasa Yamagata said in an interview with CarExpert that there are possibilities to adapt the technology into big vehicles, including the Land Cruiser. 
I said again, this advantage of the technology can be utilized for those vehicles, including high towing and high loading, Yamagata said, confirming that Toyota had indeed started development of the technology on larger vehicles, including the Land Cruiser. The president and CEO of Toyota Australia, Matthew Callager, acknowledged that a hydrogen-powered Land Cruiser is one of the possibilities, but he played down the excitement, stating that significant engineering would be needed since it uses much of the current technology. A hydrogen version of the famous SUV would be able to maintain its off-road ability and towing capabilities without requiring a substantial investment in research and development. Simultaneously, the significant decrease in emissions would enable it to continue complying with the upcoming more stringent requirements in some markets. It seems that one of the packaging issues facing Toyota engineers is figuring out how to add hydrogen tanks without making the land cruiser less useful. The network of hydrogen filling stations and how quickly it may grow over the next several years is another important aspect towards commercialization. Australian firms will begin real-world testing of the Toyota Hydrogen HEACE in late November 2023 to assess the technology and provide input for future development. CPB Contractors plans to use the first prototypes for worker transportation on a major infrastructure project in Melbourne with more applications pertaining to commuter and delivery type services to follow. Although the LCV is still at the prototype stage for now, the program's goal is to get ICE cars that run on hydrogen to full commercialization, although Toyota did not indicate a date for the release of a production model using this technology, we think it is feasible for the second part of this decade based on the condition of the prototypes. Toyota's multi-pathway approach to decarbonization includes the hydrogen-fueled ICE development program. In addition to investments in battery electric, fuel cell electric, hybrid, and carbon neutral fuel cars, mixes like hydrogen may be kept in tanks under pressure, consumed in internal combustion engines, or used to power fuel cells and generate energy. Unlike diesel fuel, which gels or freezes, hydrogen does not lose its energy or capacity as lithium batteries do. Hydrogen is a fuel that emits no emissions and is environmentally beneficial since its sole waste is water vapor. In the case of intense heat, the same idea holds true. When it comes to climate adaptation, hydrogen is more versatile than the other two choices. High temperatures may cause unleaded and diesel gasoline to evaporate or ignite, posing a risk to safety or impairing performance. High temperatures may cause lithium batteries to overheat or catch fire, which can result in damage or an explosion. On the other hand, the temperature of the sun's surface, 5,432 degrees Fahrenheit, is not a problem for hydrogen. Hydrogen is not readily evaporated, ignited, overheated, or caught fire. Hydrogen is more dependable and efficient since it can cool down rapidly after usage. Consequently, hydrogen is the best option available for use in both very cold and extremely hot regions of the planet since it is more versatile and adaptable than lithium batteries, diesel fuel, and unleaded gasoline. Additionally, you will recognize the unparalleled exhilaration of flooring a vintage muscle vehicle. If you have ever had the privilege of driving one, such as a 1969 Ford Mustang with a 428 Cobra Jet or a 1970 Chevrolet Chevrolet C with a big block 454, the explosive force that shoots through your chest as the horsepower contacts the drivetrain, the sound of the carburetors opening up, the rush of gasoline into the engine chambers, and the surge of adrenaline as the vehicle takes off. Because they function similarly, hydrogen-powered cars may provide you with an experience that electric vehicles cannot. What are your thoughts on this? Tell us in the space provided for comments below.